All right, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to navigate your way through the HVAC Training Solutions HVAC Training. So that is the classroom forum. Again, that is for um, discussion on HVAC related issues. So you click here to go back to your HVAC Technician course. And then we have um, classroom orientation, which you're watching now. Some hip pocket classes. These are all links. So if you click on that, there, there's some information, valuable information that you don't find in your textbook here. Um, there's also live training replays in their entirety, which you can watch here. And then we have all of the different module of his instruction. Temperature and theory of heat, matter and energy, um, refrigeration and refrigerants, general safety, tubing and piping, system evacuation, system charging. Module 7A is optional if you have your EPA 608 certification already. You don't need to take this. Um, then we go on to basic electricity and magnetism, automatic controls, components and applications, troubleshooting motors, applications of motors, troubleshooting motors, typical operating conditions, troubleshooting air source heat pumps, electric and gas heat. So you learn the theory first, then you learn the components, then you learn electrical. Um, individually then we put them together in generic air source heat pumps electric heat and gas heating systems and this is designed to give you all of the tools and pieces of the puzzle that you need um, to accurately troubleshoot just about any kind of residential or light commercial HVAC unit because you understand how to you read your gauges you know how to read schematics you understand basic electricity and magnetism you understand how controls work that way you can put all of that knowledge together and confidently troubleshoot something that you may have never seen before. It's impossible to teach every individual system that's out there. You have to know the basics. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works. We'll pick up pick out module three because it's a little bit easier to show you all that we have here. So you have your uh, learning objectives and reading assignments. They're short easy to read three to four to five pages maybe at the max five pages something you can do in an evening uh, there are service calls here that are real life examples of what you might run into and it applies and explains the principles that we're learning about superheat and subcooling saturation pressure temperature and how TXVs work we also have some uh, reading assignments and some some questions on the on a on a fictional service call and these are video lessons that pertain to your uh, reading assignments so if you're reading uh, refrigeration through rating refrigeration equipment you can click on this and then you have the video lecture that shows you and corresponds to your reading assignments um, the evaporator that corresponds to your reading assignment as well and this is a whiteboard system so I do a lot of scribbling and explaining um, there's more about the refrigeration cycle, um, TXVs, overcharge, undercharge, dirty filter. This is what um, this is in response to questions students had on the uh, refrigeration cycle, and it's easier to shoot a video like I'm doing now than it is to write out all the uh, questions and answers. We have little interactive exercises here. This is these are pretty simple. Uh, it talks about a H high system charge with the TXV R22 and it's got your refrigeration circuit your gauges here and you can drop drag and drop your temperature probe and do some simple superheat and subcooling measurements and take a look at a normally operating system take a look at a system that's overcharged undercharged and has a restriction just to get a feel for it rather than uh, um, trying to read it and grasp it this gives you a little bit more of a visual and a little bit more of a hands-on experience. And then when you're ready, this is self-paced, so when you're ready, you, you uh, click the exam link, you get 40 minutes per exam, 20 questions, minimum passing score of 80% or greater. And when you're ready, it will say either start or continue your last attempt, and you hit, click it. Um, you do have 40 minutes and there are 20 questions you can scroll through each question if you'd like you can flag a question you see the little red red um, 
tick marks up here in the corner. If you want to flag question three, you just cl click flag and it puts a little tick mark so you can go back to review that later on if you didn't answer it or need to have a question about that. Um, when you're done, you will um, click finish attempt and submit your, submit your exam. Now, if you don't pass with an 80% or greater, there's a four-day cooling off period. You cannot take that, um, you cannot retake the quiz immediately, so don't try and preview the quiz. The other thing is, is there's hundreds of questions per module. They're all mixed up, and so are the answers, so you need to make sure that um, you study and you're prepared for the exam, or you're going to have that four-day cooling off period as well. And... Um, Basically, that is what you do. If you have a question, the Classroom Forum is the place to post it. And if you need any help, any clarification on anything, the Classroom Forum is where to do that as well. And if you're just stuck and just don't get it, um, then we can set up an appointment and you and I can work on this together. So that is our HVAC technician course and our HVAC online training in a nutshell. And all of our um, all of our modules are set out in the same way. Now we do add regularly add videos to each and every one of the modules and get, we're getting ready to begin our um, HVAC troubleshooting and how to think your way through the problem uh, when you are on a service call and, and, and some steps that you can take and, and procedures you can use to standardize and help you learn how to troubleshoot better. All right, so if you have any questions, give me a call, send me an email, and if you're already a student, you can put that on the classroom, uh, post them in the classroom forum.